This is the 2022 range of motorhomes from Hobby. Uh, we're going to look at the Hobby Optima on tour, which says that it's got XPS for warmth uh, or warm insulation, 62,000 euros in this seven meter van, which says it's got a lot of room for the family. Well, we'll have a look if that is the case. So you've got bunk beds at the back. That's a bit of room for the family. And down here, you've got a bed up there. It's a bit more room. This will convert into a bed as well. And you guys, I suppose, put a bed down there. So that's seven places in here. Shall we have a look and see if this has been connected? Let's try. Right, so this is coming down. I'm checking that there's nothing in its way. Well, it doesn't go down very far, does it? Oh, something wrong with it. That's not good. It's clicking. I'll try and could put it back up again then. Well, it should come down further than that, and as far as I can see, there's absolutely nothing to actually stop it. So, there's a problem with these beds. Well, I, tr I tried. I did my best. Anyway, so for those I want to see the bed coming down, well, you saw it come down a bit and it didn't want to go any further. Now, sometimes it'll stop because it's got blocked by something, but I can't say what well, something might have been. Anyway, you know, people come in and play with things like me and that can sort of break them. Anyway, so here you might think, well, I've got six people in here sleeping, that might get a bit squashed. You may be thinking about the payload, but as far as I recall, this can go up to 4,400. But I'm going to check that on the way out, just to be on the safe side. A lot of storage up there. In my opinion, I've noticed that many of these vans, which claim they can have lots, or can sleep lots of people, not claim they have lots of beds, but they don't make up for it by having lots of water as well. So... Uh, you're sort of limiting yourself to use places where there is water, such as campsites. It's also possible, but not certain, that you need more electricity if there's more people. It's possible, I said, because obviously one person's in the van, or 500 people are in the van, then you know the, the main electricity, the light, will use exactly the same light. But uh, if everybody's sort of doing things at the same time, uh, then that could be a problem. Right, so that's just giving you a quick look at this. Uh, there's the garage. Oh, the lower bed will come out if you want to come out. I think the upper one would as well, actually, if you unscrewed it. Uh, kitchen three burners there's a thing for you um, I think I don't know what this is I think this is a place you put your rubbish bag but you can get you, get, you can get just about a whole dustbin in there uh, which is convenient I suppose and uh, so they thought of uh, getting rid of the rubbish in large quantities anyway this block above the kitchen Hobby has in many of its vans. Right, um, let's just have a quick look here. And, uh, right, well, the, the weight is the weight, the weight. Now I've only got three and a half. There you go. Empty weight, 2,934. So, you know, putting six people in with 566 kilos of payload. You know, it's not just the person's body. You know, it's other things as well. Okay, all right, we'll have a look at this one. This is another in the same class. Optima on tour T70E with uh, a, a cost, sorry, 61,742 centimeters in length. 
and this has single beds with a rear washroom. You go back down to the washroom, so it's quite a nice washroom, but the single beds means that uh, you're not going to get much of storage outside. So it's not exactly good for uh, carrying things. It could be, of course, that you want more space in the in the rear washroom. The washroom could be the important feature for you. So in that case, something like this would be suitable. And maybe you don't have a bike or don't want a bike. So I think this is more of a design for, uh, should we say, more uh, advanced and aged people. I'll show you here actually, I think. There you go. You've got the, you can see into the garage, you've got a bit of storage under here as well. But a folding bike would go in there, but not a, not a fixed one. There's the boiler. You can put something beside it, I suppose. Don't know if you should or not, though. And there's more storage down there. Kitchen has got three burners. So this one here has comes at a cost of six over 61,000. It's got a seven and three centimeters long. It's got a corner bed. Optima Ontour T65 HFL. Again, I think it's a vehicle which might be more attractive to those a little bit more advanced in age. I mean, it does you do have to sort of clamber over somebody if you need to use the toilet at night, as you do, for example, in the width-wise bed as well. Or even in the German layout, if you've made one bed, Same kitchen block, storage, three burners. Hey, shall we have a look at this, if this one works? We'll try it out. I should really move that, but I think before I do that, I'll find out if it's connected. Oh well, I can see that it's don't know. I could hear inside the noise. The bu -bu -bu. So it is, there is electricity to it, but maybe it's been disconnected. Maybe it's been broken. Maybe I was in here early and did it in and I didn't film it. Who knows what the, who knows what it could be. Right, good. So that is Hobby Optima on to, on tour. It's got a fiberglass floor and walls, uh, up to five year guarantee on it. Um, and it comes in the varieties I showed, showed you. And they're the ones which are here, Optima on tour. And uh, thanks for watching.